gosh, what an incredible night. It's, it, Hugh, it's a little bit of a tough act to follow, following her. Very tough act to follow. It wasn't her absolutely amazing. Her, woo! Amazing. And we're all here because of this incredible organization. And after tonight, I feel more hopeful about our future after listening to all these amazing activists and seeing the road ahead. But there's a lot that needs to be done before we can celebrate success. And I feel personally that we Americans should be the first in line when it comes to making changes. Absolutely, Connie. Connie is right. The US may have signed on to the Paris Agreement years ago, but what good is it putting your name to a piece of paper if you don't follow through on what it promises. In 2009, the world's wealthiest nations committed $100 billion for climate adaptation, but $16.7 billion was never delivered, and 2009 was 14 years ago. This morning, here in Paris, the US had an opportunity to make history by announcing a real financial commitment to addressing climate change. And instead, all we got were words from Janet Yellen that had no substance. Just last week, New York was engulfed by smoke from wildfires, and Miami was submerged with water due to severe flooding. What bigger wake-up call does the United States need? Climate, climate change is affecting all of us each and every one of us. But our neighbors in the Global South, these are the ones that have contributed the least to this crisis, and they need the U.S. to step up now more than ever. Absolutely. It's time for the U.S. to show leadership as the largest shareholder of the World Bank and champion its reform. And while we're encouraged by the steps taken by the World Bank President, R.J. Banga, to incorporate debt suspension clauses into loan agreements for countries hit by natural disasters. Here's the thing. It's often easy for us as climate advocates to be pointing fingers at other people, but each and every one of us here tonight, in our consumption habits, in our transport habits, in our eating habits, and in our advocacy habits, have the opportunity to act today to save tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.